New Witch and Friends. New Witch, New Witch, New Witch and Friends. And who? And Friends. And who? And me. <laughs> Mama Nyamal is in the kitchen, drinking tea while cooking delicious a cup for dinner. New Witch? Yes, Mama? What is that on your face? It's cream. Yes, but why, New Witch? Yamal said if we don't put cream on, it will make us ill and burn us. And then we will have to go to the hospital. And I don't want to go to the hospital, Mama. <laughs> okay, New Witch. Can you go and call your sister? Okay. Nyamal? Nyamal is playing with the ball in the back garden. Nyamal, Mama's calling you because of the cream you told me to put on my face. I was just joking, New Witch. Oh. Am I in trouble? Uh. New Witch? <coughs> but Mama's calling you, Nyamal. Yes, Mama. Okay, New Witch, go and wash your face and bring your colored balls and meet us in the garden. Why? Because we're going to play a game. Yippee! And you, Nyamal, I want you to go and bring some of your big papers and paint and meet me in the garden. Oh, so I'm not in trouble then? No, Nyamal. Yes! New Witch is in the bathroom, washing her face. While Yamal is in the bedroom, getting the paper, paint and paintbrush. Mama Yamal is waiting in the back garden. Got there, Mama. Good. Now, Yamal, give me one card, then you take one card and paint it light brown. Okay. Oh, what about me, Mama? I want to paint. <laughs> New Witch, take this and paint it black. What? All of it? Yes, New Witch. Okay. Adut and Wani have come over to play. Hello, New Witch. Hello, New Witch. What are you doing? We're playing a game. What are you doing? We came here because we're bored. Oh, Mama, Wani and Adut are here. Can they join us, please? Sure, why not? Yippee! Mama, I'm finished. Me too. Okay, now put them there so that they dry. Okay. Now. Everybody, I need you to listen very well, okay? I'm going to teach you about melanin. What's mela? Nee, 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 nee. Mel. Okay, everybody say it after me. Mel. Mel. Anin. Anin. Well done. <laughs> okay, everybody up. Now, I'm going to teach you a song to remember melanin. So we need to warm up, okay? Put your hands up. Now, shake, 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 shake. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, copy after me. This is a word that we all should know. This, this is, is a word that we all should know. know. Say Mel. Mel. Anin. Anin. Say Mel. Mel. Anin. Anin. Okay. Let's spell it. M E L. M E L. A N. A N. I N. I N. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> okay.
Okay, I think the paint should be dry. Now I'm going to put the paintings here and we are going to pretend it is our skin. Our skin is black. Do you know why I started with the black skin first? No. Because scientists have said that they have found the oldest bones of humans in East Africa. This means that black people were among the first people to be alive in this world. Then they spread over the whole world as they explored. Wow! So we put the paint like this and then we put the balls next to each other. The balls are going to be the melanin. So because we and our family come from Africa, where the sun is shining a lot, we have a lot of what? Melanin! The sun is very important to the growth of all living things, us humans, plants, and also animals, big or small. But sometimes the strong sun rays can also be dangerous. That is why our skin, when touched by the sun, begins producing something we call melanin. Inside our body, melanin protects us from these dangerous sun rays by making our skin strong. And at the same time, it makes us darker. When you have black skin, it means you have a lot of melanin and a lot of protection. Melanin helps our immune system and body to be strong. And it also helps our body to get vitamin D, which is important for the development and also strong bones. In countries where there isn't enough sun, they have to take extra vitamin D in a tablet or syrup. But here in Africa, we are blessed with the sun all the time and do not need to take vitamin D in tablet or syrup. We just have to go outside. Another danger of the sun rays when you don't have enough melanin is that it makes you look older than your age. But because our black skin is rich in melanin, it protects us from this danger. That is why people with darker skin look more younger when growing up than those with little melanin. So if we reduce the sun and take away some melanin, you are left with a lighter skin. You see? So do you know what happens when you don't get enough sun for a long, long time? No. They have little melanin, making their skin color turn lighter, as you can see here. Now, when we get to the European countries, where they have a lot of people of a light color, it is because the sun does not always shine like it does in Africa. So their skin doesn't produce a lot of melanin. So their color is light like white. Sometimes, some people from birth find out that their skin cannot make melanin. So their skin is very light and they must protect themselves from too much sun. Because they don't have enough melanin to take in the sun for a long amount of time, they call them albino. But all in all, we are all the same. The only difference is how much melanin your body makes. If it makes more, your skin becomes darker. If it makes less, your skin becomes lighter. But melanin is very important to have in your body. And the more you have, the more your skin is stronger. Your bones receive a lot of vitamin D. So be proud of the color of your black skin. It is beautiful, it is strong, and it is supposed to be like that for a reason. God made you like that for a beautiful reason. Wow! I never want to change my skin, Mama. I always want to be black and have a lot of melanin. <laughs> I'm very glad to hear it. Whether black, brown, white, God made us how we all are for a reason. And we are all beautiful. New witch and friends. New witch, new witch, new witch and friends. And who? And friends. And who? And me. <laughs> Naming the new baby. Your witch and your mom are eating Queen Jong for breakfast in the kitchen. Good morning, little ones. Good morning, Mandong. Oh, New Witch, look at the mess you made. Sorry, Mandong. Yes, New Witch, you should eat more like me. It's okay. Next time, eat more carefully, okay? Niti Nyati? Yes, Mandong. Mandong? Yes? What does Niti Nyati mean? It means little one in law. Ooh! What's Luo? <laughs> New Witch, it's the name of a group of people that come from South Sudan. There are over 64 different types of South Sudanese living in South Sudan, and one of them are the Luo people. They live by the longest river in the world called the River Nile. And one day, a Luo explorer decided he wanted to follow the river till the end and see where it will go. 
so they went with a group of people and followed the river down. After some time, they reached the neighboring country called Uganda, and some decided to stay while the rest continued. Then they reached another country that the river passes through called Kenya. Again, time passed and they reached the end of the river in Tanzania, and so they stayed. So that is why you have Luo people in South Sudan, Uganda, Kenya, and Tanzania. So where are we from? Send any which we're from Africa. Yes, Nyaman. We're from South Sudan and South Sudan is in Africa. Wow, that's really nice. I can't wait to tell my friends. Mando? Yes, Niti Nyapi. When is Mama and Baba coming with the new baby? I can't wait to see them. Me too. I think they should be coming any moment now. Oh, that should be them. Come along, little ones. Yes! You shouldn't be so happy to see them, you witch. My friends told me that when a new baby comes, everyone will forget about you. Me? Your witch is worried. Everybody is outside to welcome home the new baby. Mama, Baba, welcome back home. Thank you, your mom. Now let's get the baby inside before it gets cold. Okay, Baba. Your witch is coming outside to see the baby, but oh no, everyone is going back inside, leaving your witch alone. Dang has come over to play with his friend, your witch. Hello, New Edge. Hello, Dang. What's wrong? My mum brought a new baby. That's nice. Don't you like babies? Yes, but not this one. Sorry. When I'm upset, my mum tells me, Paropin Dang, and then she says, Chuk Kriyat. But what does that even mean? Paropin means calm down, and Chuk Kriyat means don't be afraid. In Tong Moin Jai. Oh, hello, Dang. Hello, Mandong. You witch, don't you want to see your new baby brother? Can I come? Sure, come along now. Oh no, even Deng has left New Witch to see the baby. Inside the baby's room, everyone is admiring the new baby while he is fast asleep. He looks very small. <laughs> <laughs> New witch, come and see your brother. No, thank you. I'm fine here, Mama. New witch is very down, and Mandong is going to find out what is wrong with her. New witch, is there something wrong? Yes, everyone's going to forget about me now that the baby is here. Oh, I see. And who told you this? Your mouth said. That I'll have to give all my toys and everything to the baby and I'll be forgotten. Nimal was just teasing you. That would never happen. Isn't that right, Nimal? I'm sorry, New Witch. I was just joking. You shouldn't have taken it so seriously. New Witch is feeling much better now. So you see, New Witch, Nimal said she was sorry and she was just joking. Do you feel better now? Yes, Mandom. Now, do you want to take a closer look at your baby brother? Yes, please, Mandong. <laughs> wow, he's very small. <laughs> now, we still have a bit of a problem. Oh, what's that, Guanyama? He still doesn't have a name. Oh, you mean he doesn't have a name yet? Yes, then. New Witch, I have an idea. Why don't you choose a name for your brother? Really? Can I? Names are very important in our culture. You can choose a name between Thor and the Witch. Thor is named after a great grandfather, a strong wise man who blessed the whole family. Or the Witch, son of the land. Wow! What does my name mean? It means Girl of the Lamb, 
A girl bash on that witch. What about Mandong? What does her name mean? It means a grandmom in Tognat, which is a newer language. <laughs> okay. Jen, what does your name mean? My mom told me I was named after my grandfather and that it also means rain in Tong Monja. Mm. And what about Nimal? Nimal is the peace. But Nimal is not very peaceful, mommy. <gasps> you witch, say sorry to Nimal now. Sorry, Nimal. So, you witch, did you decide yet? Um, yes. I will call him Thor. <laughs> Do you like that, Thor? <laughs> Thor is in deep, deep sleep. New witch and friends. New witch, new witch, new witch and friends. And who? And friends. And who? And me. <laughs> the new boy, can you are. Good morning, children. Good morning, Mrs. Kaji. Now, I would like to introduce to you all your new classmate, Kenua. Hello, Kenua. Jumbo. Mm. What does that mean, Kenua? It means hello in Swahili. Kenua is very shy. It is his first day at playgroup. That's very nice of you, Kenua. Children, can you all say Jumbo? Jumbo. <laughs> now, Kenua, why don't you join your classmate in painting? Sawa, Mrs. Keji. Sawa means okay in Swahili. <laughs> <laughs> so, where are you from? I'm from Kenya, Nairobi. Where's that? It's near South Sudan and Uganda. Ooh! I'm gonna paint a giraffe. Do you want me to show you how to paint Kenua? He doesn't like giraffes. I'm going to show him how to draw a car. Vroom, vroom. No, I'm going to show him how to draw a plane. Yeah. Kenua, do you want Wani to show you how to draw a plane? Or Deng to show you how to draw a car? Or do you want me to show you how to draw a giraffe? Um, it seems everyone wants to play with Kenua. I want to draw a ball. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> what do you like in Kenya? Yes, what is it like, Kenua? I've never been. Well, it's very nice. You will like it there. Kenya is a country in the African continent. It is found in the east of Africa, also known as the Horn of Africa. The Kenyan flag has the colors red, black, green and white, with an African warrior shield in the center of it. The capital city is called Nairobi. In Kenya, one of the popular food is chapati, but the main meal loved by many Kenyans is ugali, with sukuma wiki and meat. The money they use in Kenya is called Kenyan shillings and it has a picture of Kenya's first president after independence, Jomo Kenyatta. Kenya is famous for its many zoos and safaris around the country. They have many animals like zebras <laughs> and also the king of the jungle, the lion. <laughs> I know, we can play a catch. You're it, Wani. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong, Kenua? I don't know how to play catch. Oh, okay. Well, don't we play? You can jump the highest. Okay. Me first. It is a choose turn next. Then it is Obaji's turn. 
Me next. It is Wani's turn next. And now it is New Witch's turn. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. It is a little bit, New Witch. <laughs> <laughs> You haven't jumped yet, Kinua. Yeah, it's your turn, Kinua. Okay. Kinua has jumped the highest. Wow! <laughs> new witch and friends. New witch, new witch, new witch and friends. And who? And friends. And who? And me. <laughs> Counting to ten. New Witch is at playgroup with her friends. She is sitting with Adut, her best friend. Good morning, children. Good, Good morning, morning, Mrs. Kaji. Now, who can count to ten in one of the languages that we speak here in South Sudan? Psst! Adut, do you know how to count in any of the languages? Yes, I can count the manja. Oh no, I don't know any of the languages. Not even one. No, not even one. Yes, Wani? I'm going to count in Bari. Kileng, Murek, Musala, Iguan, Mukana, Buke, Burio, Budok, Bukwan, Wok. Well done, Wani. Deng? I'm going to count in Tong Moin Dang. Psst! A dut, you can't count in Tong Moin Jam because Deng is doing it now. Now a dut is sad because Deng is going to count in Tong Moin Jang. What are we going to do now, a witch? Your witch is thinking. Top. Ro. Diat. Wan. Dij. Ditem. Toro, bed, ding one, diar. I've got it. Yes, I'm going to count in English. But that's not South Sudanese. Then why is Mrs. Kedji speaking it? Yes, that is why I'm going to count in when Mrs. Kedji asks me. But what do you mind going to count in? I don't know, but you better think of it fast. Well done, Deng. Obaj? Adut is trying to think fast. Very nice, Obaj. Adut? Adut still doesn't have an answer and she is trying to think fast. Um, um. Adut? I'm going to count in English. No! You can't do that. I was going to count in English. Okay, Adut. It's not South Sudanese language, but we still speak it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done, Adut. New which? Mrs. Kaji. I don't know any other languages. I was going to count in English, but it's been done already. Never mind, New which? The bell has rung and it is time to go home now. And Manya Mal has come to collect New Witch. Hello, New Witch. How was school? Fine, Mama. It was fine. Oh dear. It seems New Witch is not in the mood to talk. I never want to go to school again. Guanya Mal has come home from work. What is it I'm hearing, New Witch? Why you don't want to go to school? I think your witch has had a bad day at school today, Guan Yamal. It was the baddest day ever, Mama. Really? I'm so sorry. Come and tell me what happened today. Yes, we were in class today and Mrs. Kedji said that we had to count in languages in South Sudan. And then Wani counted in Bari, Deng counted in Tongmoinjang, Obaj counted in Chiluk, 
And then I wanted to count in English, but I did count it in English before me, so I didn't have a chance to count in any language. Well, I think I know how we can fix that problem. Really? How? I'm going to teach you how to count in Tongnat. Then I can tell Mrs. Kerji at school tomorrow. Yes. Okay. Kel. Kel. Rau. Rau. Diok. Diok. Wan. Wan. Dich. Dich. Bakel. Bakel. Barau. Baro. Badak. Badak. Bangwan. Bangwan. Wool. Wool. I can't wait till tomorrow to tell Mrs. Kerji. Baba, can I call her now? Why not? Hello, Mandel. Hello, Wur Nyamal. Wur means father in Tong Monjang. Can you wait to talk to Adut? Sure, hold on. Hello. Hello, Adut. I was calling you to tell you that I now know how to count to ten in Tong Naf. Really? Yes, and I will show you and Mrs. Kedji and the whole class tomorrow. Okay, bye bye. Thank you, Baba. Now I have to go. But where are you going, Yowie? I'm going to sleep so that tomorrow can come quickly and I can show Mrs. Kedji and the whole class. I can come and talk now. Wow. New witch and friends. New witch, new witch, new witch and friends. And who? And friends. And who? And me. <laughs> the Kush Kingdom. It is night time, and Mandong is getting your witch and your mal ready for bed, brushing their teeth, while Manyamal and Wanyamal is putting Thor to sleep. <laughs> Sorry, I think I'm going to go to bed. Mandong is very tired. Good night, Mandong. Good, Good night, night Mandong. Mandong. Good night, everyone. Are you all ready for bed? Yes, yes. Baba. Good. Let's get you to bed. <laughs> Good night. Baba? Yes, New Witch? Can you tell us a story? And I promise we'll go straight to sleep. Hmm. Please? I'm still not sleepy. Even your mom is not sleepy. Isn't it, New Mom? Say yes. Yes. And if we hear a story, we might go to sleep. Please? Pretty please? <laughs> hmm. Okay. Yes. Can we read this one, Baba? Okay. The Kush Kingdom. Chapter 1. One day there was a little girl called Frances. She was in her room and she was very bored. In her mind, she made a wish that she would go on adventure. So bored, she fell asleep on her desk. Then she felt someone tapping her shoulder, and she looked around, but there was no one there. So she closed her eyes again and went back to sleep, but someone tapped her again, so she opened her eyes and looked around. Hello, Princess was shocked. Ooh. Because a person tapping her was not a person, but in fact a talking and walking clock. I am here to take you on a magical adventure. Jump on and let's go, said the globe. Then they flew and flew. We are going to the holy, holy kingdom of Kush in Africa. Back in the old days, the kingdom of Kush was full of people called the Kushites, the first civilized kingdom and people. 
They are the ancestors of Nubians, people that are now known as South Sudanese. They had a lot of iron and so much of gold, very important metals used to make many things. Iron? Is it like the iron we use to iron our clothes? No, New Witch. Is the gold like the one you wear when you and Baba go out? Yes, New Witch. But you can make a lot of things from iron and gold, like my necklaces, like things to build houses, and many other things. Ah. And then what is... New Witch, do you want Baba to finish telling the story? Yes. Then why don't we leave the questions till the end? Okay? Okay. And they are very powerful and a strong king called P. And he went to explore and went all the way up to Egypt and there he became king. But he grew tight and long to return back home to his city and his people. And so he left someone in charge in Egypt and left to go back home. Wow, said Princess. Shall we go home now, Princess? said the globe. Yes, said Princess. Then, Night New. Nying means little one in Tok Nat. It seems your witch and your mal have finally fallen asleep.